I'm working on making one of these scissor arm lamps that we featured in Woodsmith Magazine for a Christmas gift for my son. And I'm to the part where I'm making this bracket that holds a custom made lampshade on the piece. What I need is with this plate for the bracket to cut a groove on the inside face of it here that's gonna hold the top part of that lampshade and give it more of a seamless connection. The problem is, is this is a pretty tiny piece. And usually when I need to make an inlay groove like that, I turn to a router and a trammel jig. I've built one here on video that you can check out. But that jig is just way too big for what I need here. What I need is something that's actually smaller than the base plate of even my smallest router. The solution is both obvious and pretty ingenious at the same time. What I have is a plywood base plate that I'm using as a trammel. It's attached to the base of my plunge router with double-sided tape. I have a hole drilled in the center point here for the bit, and that matches the quarter inch shank of the bit, so I can use it to locate it on here really easily. Then the other thing is I need a, the pivot point. So I measured out the radius of the curved groove and drilled another quarter inch hole, and that holds a dowel. That section of dowel is gonna fit in the center hole that I drilled on the workpiece here. But what I also need to do is f attach this and hold it securely while I'm routing so it's not gonna fly all around. This should come as no surprise what the answer is. I'm gonna use a piece of double-sided tape, stick it to the bottom of my workpiece. I can peel off the backer. Then all I need to do is press it right on the workbench and it's gonna hold here. Then I'm gonna take that pin and insert it into the center hole. What I'm gonna do is turn on the router, plunge it to depth, and route going counterclockwise around the pin. All right, it's kind of packed with chips. But you can see the groove there and it's all ready to go. Now, what I want to point out is even though we didn't spend a lot of time or money on making this trammel jig, doesn't mean we need to toss it right now. I can just write down the radius of the groove on here, hold on to this, and if I need to make, make another small groove or a circle, I can just drill another hole anywhere along here at the right radius. So I use my router to solve all kinds of problems and to take care of a lot of steps in building my projects. I hope you find this helpful and can use it in one of your projects too.